Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Denicio Torres. This is my second chance with the new vision. Is this your first time watching my channel, man? I am blind. I lost my vision when I was 16. And this is what this channel is about. You know, motivating. I'm an author, a uh, public speaker, um, you activist, and that's all I want to do, man. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, share. However, if you are a return subscriber, man, I appreciate you guys for the support. Don't forget, you can purchase my book, My Second Chance with a New Vision on Amazon, or the link is going to be down in the description box below. Don't forget, as long as you are breathing, you have a second chance to change your life if you don't like where you're at right now. And man, today I am kind of sad because I've heard about the news, and if y'all not into immigration or any of that legal stuff about the DACA thing that a judge um considered it illegal the texas federal judge and you know it's crazy because a lot of people don't understand that man a lot of people just go off what they see on online and a lot of people are just followers and don't understand the importance or uh kind of the stuff that's behind all this stuff i know obama did it a way that a lot of people thought it was wrong creating that the DACA the you know protecting the young or the kids that were brought here at a young age basically that's what it's about and what a lot of people think that I, I'll be seeing and reading online that automatically any kid that comes in here right now can get it or can apply for it and to my knowledge and understanding again I'm not a lawyer or don't know too much about immigration stuff so this is just what I hear and um, is basically it's that you were supposed to be here brought as a kid before 2007 you were supposed to be a minor so anybody that comes here or any minor that comes here after 07 he was not supposed to or he is not supposed to be able for it so that's just my understanding and it's crazy because in my situation my family i got friends cousins that did or were able to get it but however there were many people that could have got it that didn't get it because uh, one of the requirements was that you have to be graduated from high school that was one of the requirements or enrolled in school and many of them were not graduated from high school not because they didn't want to it was because at a young age they saw they stopped going to school because they prefer working because you know when you're undocumented a lot of colleges is so expensive so that's the route they took and you know what i mean when you don't know all that stuff about I, uh, immigration and about people's situation. Like I tell y'all, I understand it. I understand that we're supposed to come here legally and all that. I don't think I'm gonna sit here I like, oh, we should just bombard the United States because that that's not it. But you know, if they had a system that um, we could come here and not make it as bad, I know we gotta take people out that are doing wrong stuff. And that's what DACA's also for. You know, they, they just don't let anybody get the papers i just think that oh anybody that comes is going to get it no you got to go through a background check they're going to check everything they're going to check your background um uh what else do they check see have you committed any crimes what you're doing proof of your income all that stuff like i said what you know like in any other situations and like i told you guys a lot of more people because i know when obama created that program or that law he was expecting million of dreamers and like I said, there were many dreamers, but however, due to that requirement that you had to um, you had to be graduated or be enrolled in school, that's what you know. A lot that's what the wrong happened right there because, like I said, many of them that I know dropped out of school, you know, back in the day, the '90s or the early 2000s, and you know, just crazy. Uh, even though they they ruled it illegal, they still let the dreamers that have the the paperwork here legally they still can keep it and it's crazy because you know every time it seems like every uh year or you know twice a year they are fighting for it and it's crazy because imagine those people that do have it you know that you just thinking man they're gonna take my papers away they're gonna take my license they're gonna take my social i'm not gonna be able to work no more and i don't know man and it's crazy and it, it, it and a lot of people do, man, they, I can talk a lot of things about immigration, honestly, that y'all don't understand it. And I guess I'm going to have to do videos like that, that because there are many people that think that we just here to get benefits. And y'all don't know that immigrants don't get benefits. And 
probably majority of the states but that's a different type of topic because i heard that too but i'm just talking about the dreamers right now man and um like i said obama did have a good thing with that like i told you guys i know a lot of people are uh half or a lot of people hate it but at the end of the day we all immigrants here you know majority of us are immigrants we were brought here uh illegally or we came here or we migrated um and now uh, even you descendants from you know migrants or immigration but we don't see that that y'all don't see that you know what i mean but hmm, i don't know what to say man i'm not uh, probably gonna get comments on here from people saying but i'm up to debate i'm not gonna hear and judge you if you have your belief i have a belief uh like i tell you i believe that we should hear um we should get people here legally and get worker permits or there there were programs a lot easier for people to come here legally and that's what a lot of y'all don't understand that there's many people out here that if y'all just give them permits to go back and forth not residency not citizenship if y'all give people like a permit for they can come back and forth like a visa or yeah like a visa basically they're already here that can prove here that they haven't committed no crimes that can prove that they're good or they're working they're paying the taxes a lot of uh, these immigrants or people that i know they don't even want the residency don't even want the citizenship they just want the license uh, for they can drive they just want um be able to work they don't care about the benefits they only want they care about the benefits of the you having license but now, i'm not saying like benefits like getting money from the government or doing this and that uh they just want something for they can be um able to work legally or drive without being scared of getting, getting to stop every time they leave um their house but you know what i mean it, 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 this just type of stuff that's why i don't like talking about it because i get into, all into it because you know i'm in that situation i was brought here as a immigrant as a minor when i was um one years old i'm about to be 31 i've been here like 28 years of my life basically i was raised here basically i'm from atlanta you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i just don't understand that and it, and it impacts me because uh it, it's just a lot of people are not considerate about that you know you know and it's crazy like i said y'all just don't know and i guess it's not even y'all it's i guess we don't have people that represent us right in the right way because when i see the the democrats argue about some stuff about um immigration it's crazy because i know they want everybody to have papers come here legally but it's impossible first try to fix the people like in my situation or people that have been here like 20 30 years that don't have papers and or 15 years that they haven't committed crimes or paid their taxes then we can figure out uh, you know the other people that just are getting here that that's what i'm saying if there's people that would represent us all like i said if there was people that would fight for rights like that that like i tell y'all there's people out there that will pay five hundred thousand dollars a year to keep uh renewing their paper their license yeah i just don't know how much or how y'all can do these stuff or there was people that got in touch with the government that can help y'all and it'll be a benefit it'll benefit for immigration and a benefit a benefit for the united states of america but people don't think like that people the people that are probably fighting for us are not just thinking uh about immigrants they thinking about their parties or what then what benefits them but not sometimes the immigrants you know what i mean and like i said I, i'm still glad because some of my friends got the dreamers and i wish that all the people that could be able to get it can get it and like i said all the people that are proof of there are um they have it they're not criminals they went through their background checks it's not our fault that our family wanted a better life for us than what they had in Mexico. And that's the truth, man. We're here. Uh, we're not going nowhere. You know what I mean? Because that's the honest truth. And why not? We're already here. If we have to pay for it. We're paying for it. If we have to pay to renew it. Like I said, there's a lot of things in my head. Like I, I, I talked about this before in one of my other videos. We'll do it. Like I said, if, they, if they'll do these programs like in Chicago and Georgia, like where you have to pay a yearly fee of five hundred dollars per your license to immigrants trust me they will do it just they're just people out there that will drop that probably like i said like democrats or something that's pro immigration that will like oh that that's not right because how you're charging them 
and you're not charging other people. But like I said, I guess we just need better representation, to be honest. I wish we had it, but we don't. Eventually, we are. So, hey, guys, that was it, my little rant about DACA. So don't forget, man, if you like, subscribe, share. Don't forget, if you want to donate to the channel, let me know. If you want to know more stuff about this, like about the immigration or stuff like that, what we go through sometimes, let me know in the comment down below. And if you want to leave a comment, man, as long as it's not disrespectful or nothing like that, I can have a conversation with you. Because like I said, I have friends and everything, opinions. You learn like that. You know, we just can't be one side. Of course, I'm not going to make you change the way you think and you're not going to make me change the way i think but at the end of the day you know these conversations are needed regardless if they get us heated or not or if we don't want to hear it, we still got to hear it regardless so don't forget man like subscribe share my content buy my book you can donate to my channel everything is in the description box below i'm out guys i see you on the next one peace